cool for no cooling. Make sure all the breakers are on for the air conditioner. It looks like it's on. AC 15 or 30, so they're on there. It's a fresh floor unit. Heating coil is off the boiler. I know the filters are good because I checked the filters. I gotta check the one on the second floor. They're complaining about it. There's another zone here on this one. I got this one turned down too for cooling. Cooling automatic. It's turned down. It's calling for cooling. I think the fan mode is bad up there. I'll have to check it. I'll check for power, see what's going on. Mm, we got power to the board. The board's calling. I'm gonna take this off and check the, the motor, the fan motor. The switch is not in any water, in any water situation. I will, um, Pull this cover off and see what, what's happening here. All right, I checked. I had one twenty coming in. I checked the transformer. All right, and then going out on the twenty-four volt side. Nothing. It's a bad transformer. Nothing. Step down transformer's bad. So I should have one of them in the truck. 110, 24 volt step down. Let's see if that killed my voltage. Should have killed my voltage to that thing. Alright, let me get a let me get an old transformer out of the truck. Alright, this one's 120, 120 volts, 24 volt side. I got a bunch of shit in this, this truck. This one here is either 208 or 240 by 24. I got all kinds, but this is the one I need. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a fuse on the, uh, the line side. Um, for the simple reason that if there's a short somewhere, I don't want to buck this. I'd rather blow a fuse. A little three, use it either a three or a five. I'll be okay. I think there's a three in that unit somewhere, but I'll just use this five. And I'll, uh, you know, I'll tie it right on the common on a 24 volt side. So if there is a short, I won't cook that. I'll blow this fuse. That was a good idea. Okay, so we got the red. Power's off. Screw 
screwdriver on it. Smell its cook and smell the transform. It's got a smell to it. It's cooked. Same thing. Same exact thing. I'm not too worried about that bottom screw. As long as I get the top one in, I'm good. the common that should be that one and then the, the red will be this one which will have that fuse I don't see any fuse in this unit anywhere so I'll put one we'll just put that fuse somewhere in there fuse than a, another transformer. link in there putting it in the link there no the problem the contact around the uh, condensing unit might be bad and that would that would cook it all right pull a pull tie on that Five volts now. Things should fire up. You know, once it goes through its delay. All right, let's give it a minute. We're protected. We're protected with the uh, with the fuse there. You can tell that's the hot one because I'm to ground and I got 25 volts. This one to ground. I only got two volts, so that that's the positive. That's how you can tell. Did 
Don't delay. Give it a minute. for the fan. We'll see what we got there. Motor don't feel hot. I got 120 coming in. I got nothing going out. So we'll see if we got Voltage to this relay, nothing. No voltage here. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, it's a good thing I put that fuse in there because um, that float switch was down a little bit. I picked up the float switch a little bit and I heard the fuse pop. Alright. Alright guys, I found the problem. I've been through two fuses already. Good thing I put that fusible link in there so I hooked up my little popper so I already been through two fuses and um, did a little checking uh, I disconnected uh, the contactor going outside yellow and common running outside for the compressor okay that should be around you know 10 12 ohms on that unit right there between them two wires. I, I could go outside and check it on the low voltage side of the contactor, but I'm gonna do it up here and I'll show you what I got. See my own reading? That's the call across the uh, contactor outside of the condenser. Low ohms, that thing will trip that flipping. Cook, that's what cooked that transformer and that's what was tripping my fuses. So I'm gonna leave this disconnected for now. So when I turn this unit on, the fan should run, but the condenser is not going to pull in outside. There we go. So I'm going to change the contactor outside. I'm going to change the contactor outside. And um, then we can fire this thing back up. Let me go do that. Train. Spine fan coil. This is the one for second floor, I believe. I'll take this cover off and we'll check the contactor. Looks like we've had mice in here. And look at the yellow wire for the contactor. You got the yellow and the blue. And look at the yellow down here. Mouse has been chewing on it. There's a problem right there. Look at that. Fucking mouse has been chewing on my wires. Bitch, there's our problem. Mice. Check out one part of one here. Okay. All right, let me clean up that wiring, and I think I'll check this. I'll make sure we'll check it. But um, that's what that's what burnt the transformer out. Oh my god. Alright guys, there's the, there's the wire, look at it. It's all chewed up from the mouth. Oh, look what this guy used for wire nuts. This, you know, there's gray for thermostats. Blue is for probably what I'll use is the blue ones. And you got the orange. You got the yellow. And then you go red, red and black, the real big ones. I don't have any in my kit here, but, uh, you know, 
that's a bit overkill for a thermostat wire I'm thinking so I'll use these these blue ones I kind of like the blue ones I'll use a couple of them blue ones so. and I cut the wire back and I'll just splice them in there with the with a couple of wire nuts I will check this the ohms on this while I'm down here <sighs> Alright, she's up and running. I'll check the condenser outside. Uh, the fan's running now. Set at 74. 74. 74. For the summer home. They're not here all the time, so. They're not here all the time. Leave it at 74 so when they come it's cool. First floor I'll leave alone. Basically it was a uh, transformer and the burnt wires from the mice is what caused it. And good thing I used the, um, you know, put the little strap on because if not my other transformer would have bucked and burnt out. So it was good to add them fuses on the low voltage side so if there's a short on a low voltage you trip that little fuse instead of burnt bucking your transformer so a lot of times the contactor the, the the windings in the contactor is gone and it'll do the same thing as this but this was you know a little credit ate it away but that contactor checked out okay and we're good to go